All right, is it just that Apple did a really good job at selling their products today, or were they really that good? Because yes, Apple's event just happened, and honestly, these new iPhone 12s got so much of an improvement, nobody really cared about the lack of 120 hertz. We also got a new HomePod mini, which feels like what it should have always been. And just a couple of days away from their event, someone very important has stepped down from OnePlus. I'm Jaime Rivera, and oh my god, I don't think it gets more techtober than today with the Apple event, with Prime Day, with an event tomorrow. Stay tuned. This is Parking Out Daily. The official news today begin with deals, and guys, it is Prime Day. I am going to cover some of the best highlights that we found, but there's a link in the description with everything else we've scouted there for you. I highly recommend you give it a click. Let's begin with Apple products for obvious reason. The 13-inch MacBook Pro is currently $200 off, leaving the 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of solid state drive for 1,800 bucks. The latest iPad Pros are both down $50 in discount, leaving the Wi-Fi only 128 gigs of storage variant for $750 for the 11-inch, and then 950 for the 12.9 inch. Moving on to Samsung, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is $250 off, which leaves it at 1200 bucks shipped. And finally, the Google Pixel 4 and 4 XL are $350 off. This leaves the 4 at 449 and the XL at 549. We also have more deals on all key devices, the Samsung Galaxy S20 lineup, and even fossil watches in the links of the description. Now, we thought that you might want an iPhone day without full-blown Apple news on a Pocket Now Daily. We know. The problem is that today's extra announcement is actually not something that I like. See, OnePlus is having their event tomorrow, and something major just happened. According to a report from Android Central, Carl Pei has stepped down from his position as the company's global director. According to the report, he is leaving to start his own venture and not join a different company. He's currently asking for a respect to his privacy while he makes the transition. The thing is, this is a pretty weird time to leave the company two days before an event, with him being the brains behind the Nord concept, and with rumors of two new Nord devices coming up. We'll keep you posted once he announces something and we're excited to see what he's up to next. And on a personal note, Carl, thank you. Thank you so much for an awesome relationship, for also being such a great guy. Thank you for everything you did for OnePlus, for knowing each other even prior to that, and for every single one of your future endeavors. We're here to support you. We wish you the best. Now let's move on to Apple, because that's what you're here for. But uh, let's just say that uh, the company made a very short event. And regardless, I feel that even if we got everything we were expecting, I think they kind of went a little over and uh, actually delivered better things than we were expecting. As expected, Cupertino began the event with the HomePod Mini. This HomePod brings a new spherical design, kind of like what uh, we get from the Amazon speakers now. It brings a new woven mesh fabric with a display for controls at the top, a full range dynamic driver for output, and a pair of radiators for enhanced base output. It's actually powered by Apple's S5 chip, which allows for computational audio. This optimizes loudness, dynamic range, and provides more refined audio output in general. Like the previous one, you can sync multiple HomePod minis and create a stereo system, but let's move on to the U1 chip and what it can do as the company has put a lot of emphasis on it. This allows for users to connect their iPhones by simply getting close to their speaker. It also enables a new intercom feature, allowing you to communicate to other iPhones, Apple Watches, and even other HomePod minis in your household. It also helps with HomeKit controls by just talking to Siri and having it interact with smart devices in your home. Yeah, and Apple actually made a big deal about Siri finally getting a boost. The HomePod Mini will be available for pre-orders on November 6th, available in stores on the 16th. $99 the price tag. Guys, I think that this is what the original HomePod should have always been, not just for the price tag, but really for the functionality. Now let's talk about the iPhone 12, because we have two now, as we were expecting. But honestly, I think that this is going to be the sleeper hit. The only reason why we're using the Pros as the hottest news is because of everything they bring. But honestly, I feel that this is going to be the most successful lineup. It would probably be the one that I would recommend to most people. And also, I like the fact that Apple didn't cheap out this year. 
Starting with the regular 12, it now brings a significantly improved 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display, millimeter wave 5G, and a ton of new camera features. And actually, the phone will have a smart way to handle 5G, more on that when we get to review it, but it brings a flatter and sharper design, which is 11% thinner and 15% smaller than the iPhone 11. Also, they announced the iPhone 12 mini, which brings the same display technology and pretty much the same specs, but on a 5.4 inch panel that fits on a 4.5 inch chassis. Notice that. The company is marketing this one as the smallest, thinnest, and lightest 5G iPhone in the world. We'll have to compare it to the Pixel 5. Both of them bring pretty much the same specifications, running on a 5 nanometer A14 Bionic, which they claim to bring a 50% faster performance than the A13. But then moving on to the cameras, they bring a 12 megapixel main sensor at f1.6. Wow, that's bright. And then a 12 megapixel ultra wide at f2.4 with 120 degrees of field of view. They are both capable of the new smart HDR3 night mode, which brings improvements and actually to all cameras this time. And that's all thanks to the A14. The company also included a new MagSafe magnet on the back of the phone, which pretty much offers an improved wireless charging experience. The magnets help you snap the phone on the charger so it won't move when it vibrates, for example. And it also enables new use case scenarios with cases and accessories. Oh, and they quickly showed a dual charger with it, but that date wasn't revealed, so that pretty much rings a bell. Both of these phones will be available in black, white, product red, green, and blue. What happened to lavender and everything else? And then the iPhone 12 mini starts at $699, with that one being available for pre-orders on November 6th, while the iPhone 12 starts at $799, and that one will be available for pre-orders on October 16th. Oh, and yeah, we have to protect the environment according to Apple, so don't expect any earpods or even a charging brick in the box of these iPhone 12s. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with the iPhone 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, mainly because this is actually the first time since the iPhone 7 that Apple has differentiated the larger iPhone in anything other than size. And let's just say that the capabilities of this phone, particularly for us video creators, are kind of insane. The smaller iPhone 12 Pro brings a 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display, pretty much like the regular 12 with the brightness going up to 1200 nits. The Pro Max actually also goes up to a 6.7 inch display, but apparently it's pretty much on the same body that we currently have on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. They're both also powered by an A14 Bionic, which just to emphasize is actually built on a five nanometer process with all the improvements you heard on the last segment. Now, Apple made a lot of buzz on the cameras of these two. The 12 Pro brings a triple camera setup at the back that consists of a 12 megapixel main sensor at f1.6 and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens at f2.4 with 120 degrees of field of view and the 12 megapixel 52 millimeter telephoto that supports up to 4x optical zoom. It also brings LiDAR, which measures light to create a precise depth map and then using the algorithms on iOS 14 can provide up to six times faster autofocus and low light and improve depth and low light also for night mode. Deep Fusion now works on all four cameras, including the selfie shooter. But actually, let's move on to the 12 Pro Max, which is what I'm excited about. It packs a similar ultra wide with a 13 millimeter sensor. But what's crazy is the 12 megapixel primary, which has pixels of 1.7 microns. And it also brings sensor shifting stabilization. And then the telephoto on this one is of 65 millimeters, which apparently can go up to 5X optical zoom. They also introduced Apple Pro RAW, which combines multi-frame processing with the RAW format. And then you can also record HDR 10-bit video. And it does also record Dolby Vision HDR, meaning 4K at 60 frames per second, and then you can edit this in Dolby Vision, apply filters, actually all within the Photos application. You don't need a computer for that. And also the company is adding the MagSafe with their new ceramic shield display technology to all iPhones today as well. And then these pros will come in a graphite color, silver, gold, and Pacific blue. The regular 12 Pro will be launched with the regular 12 with pre-orders on October 16th, starting at $999, with the Pro Max being available with the 12 mini with pre-orders on November 6th at $1099. So yes, this was iPhone day. Let us know in the comments down below what was your favorite announcement, even if you're not an iPhone fan, doesn't matter. I mean, let us know what you think. Do you think that Apple delivered or didn't deliver? If so, which one would you pick? Because this would be the first time ever 
that I'm actually inclined to get a Pro Max unit. Mainly because, again, we're creators, those camera capabilities actually make me debate actually hauling the complexity of a camera for a lot of vlogging things we do. I think that the iPhone is going to be good enough, but obviously our review process will let us know more. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Friends, again, if you wanna get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me. I, I really wanna be doing Prime Day right now. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.